सब मिल गया जब से मिला तू और टू इस थिंक पाओ क्या होता मेरा जो ना होता मेरे साथ तू सो ऑल टू इस थिंक पाओ यू सो हाई एंड वेलकम टू मिडे डॉट कॉम एंड जॉइनिंग अस टूडे वी हैव द बर्थडे बॉय हिमसेल्फ अरमान मलिक हाई एंड हैप्पी बर्थडे फर्स्टली थैंक यू सो मच आई एम रियली ग्लैड टू बी हियर Yeah, and it's lovely that you decided to spend it with your fans. You know that there, there have been a few birthdays that I have uh, celebrated with the fans. This is even more special because we released a new song, uh, Tu, which is the Hindi version of my English song You, and uh, we did this uh, as a Spotify singles. And I'm super happy that I got to spend, uh, you know, uh, majority of my birthday with my fans who True. mean the world to me. Absolutely, that's lovely actually. And uh, yeah, so we have to ask you, how did you start your day? Like any birthday wish that you know you made this year? I mean, I I make wishes every day, just not on my birthday. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, huh. I just uh, I just prayed that I uh, you know I don't uh, break down because usually on birthdays you have you uh, experience like. Uh, varying degrees of emotions. I just yeah. wanted to be relaxed and enjoy. Usually on my birthdays, I'm more worried about other people than me. Today, I'm like very relaxed. Okay. I'm like, okay, the day is about me. Yeah, that's true. Actually, that's very <laughs> relatable. I'm sure yeah. a lot of people get emotional. And Every, you know, I, yeah. I mean, I've I, I've always, you know, whenever it's time for my birthday, I'm I'm always like, अरे यार जल्दी से खत्म हो जाए and I want to go back to uh, non birthday days. Uh-huh. But uh, off late in the last few years, I've started enjoying my birthday and I, I'm I'm liking that that's now. That's lovely. <laughs> yeah, and of course we have to ask you about to you. Yes. So how did that song happen and what was the idea behind it? Well, uh, you um, is. a song that i released earlier this year in jan mm-hmm. and uh, it's an out and out love ballad uh, in english music i had not done a proper romantic song uh, because obviously everyone knows me for romantic songs so i wanted to break away from that and do something different okay. uh, but ultimately audience uh, you have to uh, you know give what the audience really really is craving for and that's when i released you and uh, it's been my most successful english uh, release wow, so far okay. and uh, we hope to um, elevate that even more and obviously uh, you know bring that song a little clo- more closer to my home audience yeah. uh, which is why we released uh, tu which is the hindi version of you yeah. and uh, uh, it's not a literal translation of uh, of the original english one mm-hmm. but it's got the same essence and the same uh, feels uh, of the original track okay so your past year of course you're starting a new year with your birthday So that was very special because you launched your label and yes. of course a track with Ed Sheeran. A lot yep. of people only dream of that. So how was it doing that? I mean, uh, so many people ask me, "How do you feel about it?" Honestly, I really can't put into words what I feel about yeah. these things. Uh, I'm just blessed and grateful that I get such opportunities. Um, to do a track with Ed Sheeran is not an easy uh, feat true. at all. Yeah. He's the biggest artist in the world right now, and uh, as we speak, I think he's one of the first uh, artists who has crossed 100 uh, million followers on Spotify. Yeah. So uh, it's it's great to uh, you know to collaborate with such a reputed artist. I've I've been a huge fan of his, yeah. and uh, to one day receive uh, a, an email from him and his team saying that they want me to do uh, a verse yeah. on Two Step. I mean, it it doesn't get bigger than that. Uh, my thing with that uh, with that collaboration was to do something very very special. Um, I could have sung in English verse, but I sang it in Hindi because yeah. it's such a big global collab, and I really you know believe in uh, taking India and Indian music global. Yeah. So uh, the two step collab was unreal, and yes, my own label always music was launched as well, yeah. and. Uh, The first song Nakre Nakre did really well. There's a first song I actually danced in properly. Yeah, a lot actually. of my fans saw me uh, yeah. bust some really cool moves in the music video and uh, proper, you know, like a pop star vibe is what we had created. And uh, very different from all the other videos and songs uh, people have uh, heard and seen of mine. Yeah. Uh, I've always been this, uh, you know, guitar uh, romantic uh, boy next door vibe, and I wanted to break away from that and do something like really unexpected. and i've always loved dancing yeah. so i wanted to start with an electro pop song so nakre was the best fit and always music the label is just begun and i can't wait to put out more and more songs uh, uh, you know going forward yeah i'm sure you have a lot of surprises for your fans oh, but yeah. if there's anything <laughs> that you plan to a little bit that you can reveal like what's coming up next 
I mean, um, I never like revealing any of my surprises because when they drop, I want yeah. it to be, I want that surprise element there. Uh, but yeah, there are a lot of amazing, uh, you know, collaborations, um, songs that are coming up on my own label. Um, also, uh, I'm planning a, a, a big tour. So uh, hopefully, you know, this year, uh, I, you know, hit all those targets that I have set for myself. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I'm taking each day as it comes, to be honest. And we have, we may all have big plans, uh, but sometimes, you know, life throws its own curveball, so you have to navigate it accordingly. But I'm really looking forward to this next half of the year. And there are some exciting uh, musical projects coming my way and already uh, coming your way. Sorry, it's already, I've already recorded and shot it. It's going to come your way very soon. And what's also amazing is the number of languages that you sing in. So, uh, if you could tell us about that, like how do you manage to pull off that? That's not easy, of course. Well, I've been doing, uh, you know, playback in different languages since the age of 10. And uh, it's become very, uh, I would say it's like second nature now. I go into a studio, someone gives me, uh, uh, you know, a, a written down version of a Kannada script or a Telugu script. And uh, it's obviously written in, in Roman, in English, and I read it and reproduce the sound the way it's supposed to be done. Uh, my, my thing is whenever I sing a different language, it has to be very authentic. Yeah. When I sing a, a song in Kannada or Telugu uh, or any other language, it has to sound like uh, a native speaker or, or singer is yeah. uh, singing it or delivering it. And that's been always my goal. And I've worked very hard in the studio perfecting that. So now it feels like I mean, I just get get the lyrics and I know what to do. It's just, it's become yeah. second nature for me. That's lovely. And what are you manifesting this birthday? I'm really, really manifesting a big uh, performance. I, I mean, I've always dreamt of performing at uh, Madison Square Garden. Wow, and, okay. And uh, uh, I don't know if uh, uh, it'll happen this, this year. So I, I, I know it's not going to happen this year. But I hope in the next at least two to, two to three years, I hope I can make that happen. Uh, I know it's a very, very big feat, uh, but I always have very lofty dreams and it's always good to, you know, have these dreams go, uh, keep you going because when you have a certain goal, you work towards it. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, I hope that I perform at Madison Square Garden one day. That's yeah. my biggest dream. And who are your dream collaborations with? We've already had one with Ed Sheeran. Yeah. And who next? Who, do you, who are you manifesting next? I think Justin Bieber and Charlie Puth. That These are two be, of yeah, my uh, favorite artists and uh, Charlie Puth is someone that I really, really love. I love his musicality. I love the way he writes and produces and, um, you know, just overall he's such, a, such an amazing musician. And I feel like when we get together in the studio, some magic is bound to happen. So, Absolutely. yeah, I, Justin Bieber and Charlie Puth are two collaborations. And of course, we have to get you to sing something for all the Armanians watching. Yeah, let's so. do it. <clears throat> जो किसी का हुआ ना तेरा हो गया तू हर बहाना मेरा हो गया तेरे सिवा एक पल भी किसी को ना दूं ओवर टू इस थिंक पाव यू सब मिल गया जब से मिला तू ओवर टू इस थिंक पाव क्या होता मेरा जो ना होता मेरे साथ तो so all I do is think about you that was lovely as expected thank you so much for doing this thanks a lot hey everyone this is arman malik and you're watching me on midday.com subscribe to midday india get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon